successful conclusion with my help. I hope so too. Hope so. Great to be here. So many people have been put on a wall. In fact, a lot of cases, they were not killed in action, so uh, that always bugged me a little bit, but we were, we were in Vietnam because of the war. That's why we were there. We, we wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for the war going on. So they pulled us off, you know, temporarily to, to uh, do an exercise, and uh, we had the exercise going on on the second, and we secured at 11 o'clock at night, at 3 o'clock in the morning we got sunk. I am honored to be here with Larry Riley Sr., um, who was the person who brought to my attention the injustice done to 74 of our brave uh, sailors uh, who, are not, who, who died uh, off the coast of Vietnam and who have not been given the honor of being, their names being placed on the memorial wall. Their names were not placed on the memorial wall for a bureaucratic reason that I don't think makes any sense. Uh, the the uh, Evans was slashed in two. Larry was on the boat because he re-enlisted, because he wanted to be with his son. And um, the Evans was sliced in two by a much, much larger craft, the Melbourne, an Australian uh, aircraft carrier. And they were in combat. The whole reason the Evans was there was the Vietnam War and combat. But because it was, uh, it was not within the official combat zone, uh, the people who, ran, who run the Vietnam Memorial um, didn't put their names. Uh, the Navy is reconsidering its decision. I've spoken to Ray Mabus. He's the Secretary of the Navy. He's on our side. Now it is on the desk of the Office of the Secretary of Defense.